Hello everyone, I hope that you're all well. Welcome to the launch of our Include website. We are really excited to have this launch. It's the culmination of many months of work and lots of collaboration from many different international colleagues. You will notice this is website has a few sites, a few pages. We have the homepage, the connect tab, the learn tab, the apply tab, the change tab, and the share tab. And I'm going to be explaining each one of them for you briefly. And I hope that you benefit from this site, which includes various different resources to encourage and promote inclusive education and transnational co collaboration of colleagues, students, researchers to enhance and promote inclusion in higher education throughout the world. Okay, so what you'll see here is the homepage and we have our affiliates. Our lead affiliate is the University of Worcester and then we have Boston University, UNISA, Dalton Education Services International, the University of Ibn Zur in Morocco, a university in Brazil, Acer from India. These are our main collaborators from our steering group. When this is our steering group led by Dr. Sean Bracken from the University of Worcester, Professor Richard Jackson from Boston College, Myself, Asha Abdul Sitar from UNISA, the University of South Africa. Dr. Elizabeth Dalton from Dalton International. Dr. Mustafa Abi from the University of Ibn Azur in Morocco. Professor Elizabeth Cristina Costarendes from Brazil. And Ashna Kurana from India. And then you can meet some of our content contributors. This website would never have been possible without our content teams. We created many content teams with, in, uh, with international colleagues with great expertise. And these are some of the content managers. So please have a look at the site. You'll meet some of our esteemed and highly qualified content managers who facilitated large groups and teams to uh, get the content uh, populated for this website. All right, once you go onto the website, you'll notice that we've got some information about our Include Collaboratory. We explain everything about that. We've got some infographics here as well. Then we want you to know about our aims. If you go into the page, you'll see about our aims and our action oriented values. That's for our, web, uh, our home page. Now we go into the connect tab. The connect tab actually is a place where we want lots of different people to connect via blogs and different information being shared. We have the main include blog where we will share basic information on inclusion and inclusive education. Then we have Global Connect. We will connect learners from all over the world, connect educators, we connect researchers, we connect a diversity of people and organizations from different places and different categories and different ethnicities, cultures, nationalities and language groups. And we also connect different organizations and we provide updates on different events as training, webinars, seminars, and other related events. So these are all really important. And all these are active tips, active links. So you'll see we have our first blog by Dr. Sean Bracken. If you go into that, you can get into the tab as well. All right. And we have Lots of, other uh, uh, lots of other blog posts as well. And what we'd like you to do also is to follow us on Twitter. You can follow us, you can visit us, and you can also tweet some of our posts. 
We've also got a LinkedIn account, so you can follow us. And you can also share posts on LinkedIn. Or if you'd rather like to follow uh, by email and get some information there, you can contact us via email. Or if you'd like to subscribe to this blog via email, you can put in your email address and su subscribe to this blog. All right. So you've seen the include blog. Under Global Connect, we have the Learners Connect page. All right. So we can go into Learners Connect. And you'll see we've got a lot of different blog posts, right? We have learners blogs, connecting learners, right? We have different languages as well, and we've got some in French as well. And we uh, envisage that we'll get uh, posts from other students to get the student voice in from different countries in different languages. And we also include the English translation that you can download in PDF format. So we have many blog posts here. We have some resources that we can share that learners can use. We, we really want the student voice included in all our conversations. And then I'll go on to the events blog. You'll see on the events page, we have lots of different things. We have conferences, many different conferences. And as we get more information, we will update them. And all these images are live images that you can click on and get onto an external website. And some of them are internal websites. So this is really nice about that. I was really excited about those things. And we've got the little buttons that can take you back to different places in, uh, in the website and our accessibility policy. Although we are, an, are committed to making sure that our website is accessible, we are still not there. We have a lot of work to do and we are trying to reach that. So we are still working towards reaching compliance in that aspect. And we are liaising with lots of other stakeholders in this respect. So we're working towards that. There's one last thing I'd like to show you is the Diversity Connect. We've got blogs from the Global South as well. We've got a blog post from Morocco. We've got another one from India. We've got another one from South Africa for now. And we plan to include more different voices from different places in the Diversity Connect as well. When we go into the Learn tab, once you look into the Learn tab, we want you to know about effective tools, technologies, and examples of and for inclusive instruction. So you can explore what universal design for learning is and UDL examples. You can link to courses and programs to expand your learning. So we have lots of different things going on here as well. So you can explore this. See, we've got lots of different tech tools. We explain different types of tech tools that you can use in, for different aspects. And all these images are hyperlinked as well. So you can get onto different websites. And we've also posted some videos where applicable. So it's quite exciting that we have so much resources available for you to peruse. Then we have the Apply tab. The Apply tab is there to develop accessible and universally designed physical spaces and instructional curricula through the design models, activities, and examples. You can share your own curriculum design strategies and ideas and develop partnerships for future efforts. So these are different aspects that we deal with under curriculum design. First one is uh, under apply. The first one is curriculum design. You look, we've got many different aspects under curriculum design and these also take you under take you to different pages you'll see we've got the udl implementation cycle and we give you examples of all of these implementation uh, methods and lots of different resources here and also, what we have here is really something very interesting under curriculum design. We have the set of videos by Verna Rossi. It's a transition to e-learning. We have various different 
video resources that give you some ideas for the fast transition to e-learning. These are in English and we have these videos in Arabic as well. We have the Arabic versions of these videos as well. And what's exciting also is that we have these video, we have the Swedish translations of these videos. We are still underway. We've translated, we've got the translation of the first video in Swedish, and we're planning to do it to the rest. And we're planning to have uh, different resources in different languages as well. You'll see we have, we've got an assessment tab as well. We've started populating this and we've got some information there as well on different assessment strategies for inclusion. Now the change tab. The change tab, we work towards systemic change, discover policies, guidelines, laws, and initiative sparking inclusive change around the world. Share your own policies, laws, and information to help build global understanding of inclusive education and the change that is needed. You'll see we are sharing different types of policies and standards and guidelines. So we're sharing lots of different things, transnational initiatives. and legislation. So we're sharing lots of different things here. And finally, the share tab. Share your knowledge and experience by posting examples of your inclusive work to help build a library of inclusive materials, case studies and toolkits and guidelines for others to learn from and use. Right, so we've got lots of different things happening here that you can add and peruse. See, we've got different accessibility resources as well. So we have a lot of resources here and we invite you to actually join us and uh, contact us. You could con contact uh, uh, Dr. Elizabeth Dalton or myself, Aisha Abdul Sitar. You can contact either of us if you want to get involved or contribute to this website in any way and we will lead you to the right content managers. So please produce this website and I hope you enjoy these resources and I hope that uh, these are really beneficial to you in your context and in different ways. And we'd also love to hear the student voice and the researcher's voice and different diverse voices, different organizational voices. And we'd like to include lots of different resources on the site. Uh, all the best, take care and do enjoy your journey with us to creating a more inclusive world for everyone. Thank you.